Okay, so this Sunday's vlog is going to be posted very late, so I do apologize for that. But for those of you guys who are new to my channel, my name is Shanika, and this channel is about faith, lifestyle, and vlogging. Um, so I wanted to come on here just to, I did, just to do a quick Ross haul because I got a couple of things from Ross's, so I wanted to share that with you guys. So um, if you have a Ross near you, um, you can go there, and if they have these items, you can pick them up. Um, but let's start with the first item that I got. It was just some um, dish rags. Uh, these are 100% cotton. It's made in Pakistan. Um, and I got this on sale for $4.99. And it's a five pack um, all white dish rack set uh, cloth. So this was really nice. I am gonna wash these. I did need um, some new washcloth. I also got this nice, this I got from um, Burlington. Um, I wanted uh, one of these to be able to put like my um, my soap on here um, and my um, sponges or even hand soap in the kitchen this was $6.99 so this is a good price because I was going to get it on Amazon it was on my wish list and it was on there for 20 about $25 and up some more even go over 30 so that was from um, Moondale Burlington from Ross I did get some candles this is a set of eight um, long candles um, and I wanted it to put in my candles, uh, decor sticks that I got the other day, candle holders, and this was $4.99. These are unscented, but they are real. Um, let's see what else. From Burlington, I got some sea salt. Look how big this is, guys. This was $2.99. And it's 100% sea salt, no anti-caking agents. I didn't see that. 100%, yep, 100% natural sea salt. And it's from the Atlantica, Sal Marina Atlantica. So this is nice. This is a 26.5 ounce. So this is nice. I'm gonna put in my salt jar. Um, I did, I often have to buy new sponges. So I, when I saw this at Burlington, I had to pick this up, but this is a silicone scrub brush. So you can use it to scrub like your pots, your pans, um, your fruits and vegetables. So this is silicone. This is really nice. It'll be easy to disinfect. And then I just got some batteries. It was $3.99 for the pack of, of 10 batteries. So that's a good deal. What else did I get? I saw this sweater. I was like, I have to get it. I'm not a hot pink person, but this is so cute. It's supposed to be a dress, but guys, this is too short for me. So I'm definitely going to be wearing this as a sweater, wearing it in the house, wearing it to do my vlogs, wearing it to church. I think she's gorgeous. And she was from Ross. She was only $12.99. So I absolutely love it. Uh, let's see. This was also a great find. Remember when I had went to Michael's and this was originally $60 for this basket. Then they had 50% off. The basket was on sale for $30, but I returned it. I found this exact basket. The print is just a little bit different, which I like better. It has white in it. This was $12.99. If I went to Home Goods, this would have been $30, $50 at Michael's. So I only got one. I only needed one. I wanted just to put like my um, dumbbells in here and my... Um, exercise jump rope so that way it's not an eyesore and the kids won't no one will get hurt walking by um, that equipment and then also from more I got this jar it was two nine two dollars and ninety nine cents this is just for like my laundry room I'm gonna put like the borax in here and I'm just gonna be able to scoop it out because it's gonna look nice it looks kind of crazy just sitting in, in the jar and if you guys ever need like olive oil, um, coconut oil, um, certain types of seasonings and honey, I recommend if you have like a Ross or Marshalls or Home Goods, they always have the good stuff. So I did get the 16 ounce jar, jar of wildflower honey. It's all natural, 100% pure and raw and filtered. And this was $4.99. So you can't eat that. There, I didn't get you anything. We're almost done guys. And that's why you have to shop around, guys, because for the um, oil dispensers on Amazon, they were charging $30 and up, some for in the 20s. So I got this for $4.99 at Ross. So once for vinegar, once for oil. But being that I have one for vinegar, I'm going to use one for different oils. So I have one with avocado oil, one with um, olive oil, and then the other with just regular like vegetable oil. 
So this was $4.99. I think these are gorgeous. What else did I get? Of course, I had to get a new blow dryer. This was $18. My other blow dryer conked out. So I'm glad I was able to find this one on sale at Ross, $18.99. And this is a gift set blow dryer set. So it comes with uh, the two brushes, the clamps, and then it has some elastics for your hair if you wear like ponytails or anything. So I think that was a really good deal for $18.99. And lastly, no, two more things. I got this jar here. I was going to use it for the detergent or if I get like um, any laundry pods. Um, this was on sale for $3 from Ross. So I think this was a good deal. Usually yeah. this is like... $15. Yeah, for this tube, um, $10, $9. So this was a steal. It probably was in a set and it probably got returned or lost. Guys, and the most exciting piece too, I think that was really nice. I found a pair of Aldo shoes at Ross. They're platforms. They're extremely comfortable. They were on sale for $24.99 and they're platforms. So it's like a, a cream color, like off-white. And then this is just like your uh, khaki. Let me put it on to show you what it looks like. But it looks really nice. Let me show you what it looks like. Then I'm going to do the Sunday devotional and I'm going to post that for you guys so you can have to be blessed for the week. But this is the shoe. It's gorgeous. I hope you can see it. I think it's a cute platform. $24.99 from Ross. It's high. It's about six inches, five to six inches, but it's a platform. So remember, they're off the, it's like these feel like you're wearing sneakers. All right, guys, talk to you later. Yes. The older one with the little, the smaller one. Yeah, 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 Time for him to retire. The wife of a surgeon? No, she was sending cream. Face lotion. The guy with the black hair, the doctor. Wait, the one with the blonde hair, the bigger nose? There's one, the two of them work together on the show. On both. I'll be right. Not if I to shoot. Like the taller one. Yes. Oh. He had a stroke. He's younger than the other one. Well, I don't know. Is he younger than the other one? Has he ever done anything sketchy? I don't know which one we get. And then it just got the moss balls. It came in a pack of six. And these are the rain the curtain. Those are moss balls. You get the rest intellectual. You get the front and emotional.
I love the fact that this is an apprehensive, so you can either nail it or glue it, and they sent an extra one of these. I have to find out where to buy these stickers because I have some other um, pieces that I can just stick that doesn't necessarily need to be screwed into the wall to ruin the wall. Costa Rica on vacation this summer and uh, she bought these back for me. This is um, just like you put in the middle of the stove so when you have like cooking tools you can put them on here which I really needed because you know I always have it hanging over my sink. This I don't know what this is I have to ask her. I guess you can do the same thing with it like if you have one that's a fork. But I'm so excited for this guy that I absolutely wanted this. And because we want to see because of the material that it is, this wood material, I can always um, spray paint this any color, black, white, whatever color I want. Yeah. Um, 
he's going to be on social media doing things, um, all the pictures that's got the phone and everything like that. I say with him, um, and just kind of maybe, what do you think a dude's going to do? We just have to go. And he's just going to sit in the house. And sit in the house. What, what, I mean, what do you expect that behavior to listen from him? Well, he, he didn't try to get for himself. He didn't ask us to come back. He definitely talked to me in that way. And he was kicking me up doing things. Um, so the baking soda, I guess I have to get some more to fill this up in the $2 jar. And then this is where I put the detergent. There's still a lot more. So I need to get another one of these um, for... I need one for my vinegar, because I use vinegar. And then another one for um, more detergent, and then another one for softener. I don't like to use too much softener. I just like to use vinegar and baking powder to disinfect and to clean my laundry with. It works so good. I feel like when you use too much like a little fabric softener, they start to coat your clothes and cause irritation. For the lighting, you guys, when I am in the laundry room, I am trying to figure out how I can just make in here just look a lot better without having to spend too much or do too much. So, um, like I said, I'm going to buy my jars for the detergent because as you can see, when you just have all the original packaging that it comes in, it just makes it look a little bit sloppy and messy so i do, do want to make it look good in here because it'll make it much more enjoyable for me to do the laundry so um yeah let me show you the whole laundry space as a whole so this is it you walk in and then you have the dryer on this side and then i have some stuff up there which i'm going to organize get baskets for Trying to make that look really good. And then I have some more cleaning stuff here on the side, which I'm going to organize as well. And then when we go over to this side, it has the same shelf on the top, which I'm going to have my laundry detergent and everything organized and just in like pretty baskets for like the toilet tissue. And then I already have this hook, which is fine. I just need to make that look better. So this is the laundry room. This is the laundry room, you guys, so I just need some nice storage baskets, and I think that's all I need, and then I could put, like, maybe just a painting or something cute on the wall in here, um, and it'll just aliven up the space, so I'm going to work on that now and go through these baskets so I can see how many baskets I need, because I know I can get baskets at Ross for, like, $4.99, $5.99, $5.99. Um, so yeah, and that's why I said this is like I'll just use vinegar for my clothes or apple cider vinegar. I buy the big um, jar. This is of two quarts, so I do need like um, just a jug, something like this, where I put the detergent to put it in. And I just need to buy like the scoopers and the clear cups. So I'm gonna search Amazon for those things, um, so I can do that. So. I'm not going to be able to organize this and get this going today without having the actual baskets. But at least I get to see what I need baskets for and how many. So I just want to show y'all that's going to be the next project. So I am going to vlog that and then I'm going to um, put pictures up and vlog what it's going to look like after. Okay, so I'll talk to you guys later. Then I just have two of these. My sister sent this from New York. She works in the hospital. So these are um, stainless um, cloths and germicidal disposable wipes. And then I have the same old uh, bleach cloth. This is really good. <laughs> Excuse me. This is like when you go to your doctor's visit and right after you're done, you'll see them like wipe down um, the counters and the, the table you lay on. Uh, this is the bleach version to it. And then just regular Amazon disinfecting wipes. I had got three of these for, I believe it was $12.99 on Amazon. And then this one is the great value. Usually comes three in a pack for $5.46. Um, my mom came from New York, so she bought me some, um, these hospital wee wee pads, which I use for the dogs. They are a lifesaver, guys. 
so so good. But like I said, you see the toilet tissue. I want to get like a nice basket to put the toilet tissue in, to put the paper towel in, and then I have my iron here. But all this is going to get organized. But for now, this is what it looks like. I'm so grateful for these disinfectant wipes. They help me out tremendously. Especially these gloves, which I keep some in the car to pump gas or, you know, whatever outside. Absolutely love those. I'm going to find like something, like maybe put up a shelf so that I'm able to um, put my iron on a shelf. Maybe put like a wall shelf and put the iron on. Um, yeah. These I don't necessarily need right here, but I'll keep them here for now. What is it? Oh, I got these from Gross. It was a dollar, no, Burlington Co Factory for a dollar, two dollars. And they're dust gloves. I think this is so unique. You put them on and you just dust. And these I got from Amazon. It came in the pack, I think, of like 300. So when people are coming to your house and you don't want them to wear shoes, I keep some of them by the door in the basket. They can put this on, like, say, when the cable guy came to my house and I handed him a pair to put on because I was like, can you put this on? I don't want you to walk through the house with your shoes on. He looked at me like, huh? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Uh, your shoes are dirty. You do this stuff in anything outside. So these are coming handy it's from Amazon. And usually I just keep like a nice um, basket um, for all of my plugs for my toothbrush. I don't know how that here. And then these are just um, some of those bleach wipes that come in the mini packets that my sister gave me these, y'all. Woo, keep in your purse, your car, lifesavers. Do you use public bathrooms? Anything. You won't want to touch doorknobs, bleach down these little packet wipes. And these are from directly from the hospital. So I love, love, love me some of those. So I'm just gonna place those in this basket. I don't think I need this anymore. Do I? I'm going to make a list on what I need for my laundry room now that I see the inventory that is in here. I need to get some more paper towel. And we will be good to go, y'all. For now. For now. Happy Sunday, everybody. I'm so excited because this is my uh, favorite um, thing to do on my vlogs is to pray and to do devotional. So today is Sunday, August 27th. So we're going to go forward in our devotional. I do apologize if you hear the birds chirping louder, um, loud, um, if you hear cars going by, or even if you hear like an airplane or children crying because I am doing my devotional on my balcony today. And the word, I did read it, is so profound. So let's, let's read it together. And I pray that it's going to bless um, your whole week and that, um, yeah, you'll use it, you know, just to bless or to speak somebody else and meditate on the scriptures and let God reveal um, what he wants to reveal to you in regards to the devotional. So August 27th, and of course the devotional is going to be coming from Jesus, is calling by Sarah Young, enjoying peace in his presence. Spend time with me for the pure pleasures of being in my company. I can brighten up the dullest of gray days. I can add sparkle to the routines of daily life. You have to repeat so many tasks day after day. This monotony can dull your thinking until your mind slips into the neutral. A mind that is unfocused is vulnerable to the world, the flesh, and the devil, all of which exert a downward pull on your thoughts. 
as your thinking progresses, yeah, pro processes, the processes deteriorates, you become increasingly confused and directionless. The best remedy is to focus your mind and, and heart on me, your constant companion. Even the most confusing days opens up before you as you go step by step with me. My presence goes with you wherever you go, providing light for your path. This is so good because it's so true. Uh, the reason why I knew that I needed to resign from my job was because I was reading the word of God every day and letting him, letting his word wash my mind and my thinking. If I was spending, I noticed when I was spending a lot of time on YouTube, catching up on series, when I was spending a lot of time um, my mind was focused on how I'm going to do this, how I'm going to do that. Um, I noticed that I just started to get confused and to lose focus. And when I started to feel like that, I just immediately went to the word of God. And then when those thoughts would come in my mind, like you're not going to be able to pay all your bills this month and you're going to be behind or, um, you know, those are just some examples. When those thoughts started to come in my mind, like you can't do this, you can't do that. You'll never be here. You'll never be there. Um, You'll never get the specific job that you were looking for. Like all these thoughts were coming to my mind and I know it was the enemy because God was opening up doors for me and going to bless me in a, in a mighty way because I know I told you guys in a couple of vlogs ago, you know, there were times when I would just be still and just meditating on the word of, the, of God. I would just hear within the Holy Spirit within me just start to say, start to sing this specific um, line. The Lord is blessing me. The Lord is blessing me. And I would just, as I would hear it in my spirit, I started to sing it and release it. I would just sing it and release it because, and that's how I knew that there is a blessing coming. And, um, you know, just to continue to wait on God and just keep singing that and declaring and proclaiming that. And I just thank God, just even being alive, being in good health is a blessing. Um, so, like I said, when I started to just focus on, you know, how I'm gonna do this, how I'm gonna do that, that's when, I, like the word says, your your processes start to deteriorate. Um, you start to go on a downward pull, right? And you start to just get into your fleshly thoughts. And that's not glorifying God, and it's not helping you. It just makes you sad, it just makes you depressed. So when you start to feel like that, just get in the presence of God. Just read his word. Whatever you hear him speak inside of you. Like when the enemy was speaking to me in that way, the Holy Spirit would just remind me uh, and of the scriptures and the promise that God has for me. So often I hear my spirit from the Holy Spirit. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And as soon as I hear it, I start to open up my mouth and speak it because we know that death and life is in the tongue so we want to speak a life over ourselves we want to speak the word of god over ourselves why because the word of god is the same god is the same today yesterday and forevermore and his word whatever he speaks it can never come back to him void it will always set out to do what it's supposed to do so speak not your words over yourself but speak the word of god over yourself speak the word of god over your situation and and just be still in god's presence and watch it come to the past it may not come when you want it to come not on your time but remember god does it's not a god that lives in time god lives outside of time god is eternal god is everlasting god can do all things he knows all things and he know when is the best time to bring that blessing into your life and you want to be mature be mature to be hand to be able to handle the blessing that god is going to rain down on you in your life so remember that when you start to feel confused just know you need to get more god is not a god of confusion get in the word of god read the scripture read a chapter read a verse meditate on the verse start if specific words stand out to you um just research that word in Hebrew and Greek because we know that the Bible was written in Hebrew in the Old Testament and Greek in the New Testament. Find out what those words mean and just be still. And as you're still in the in the presence of God, God is going to give you a personal rainbow word for yourself. The Holy Spirit is always going to bring remind, bring scripture and revelation to you, especially when you're going through things or if you have questions that you're asking God. So God is faithful and let us try to be faithful and 
in the Old Testament, they didn't have the Bible, the Word of God to go back to and keep reading like we do. We have now. God has already done it. God has already said it. And just read, read. He says, my people perish because of a lack of knowledge. Don't be ignorant when it comes to the Word of God, the things of God. Right? Because we have life and we have life abundantly. And we just want to be very seasoned and, and mature. We want to mature in God. We don't want to be stagnant. We don't want to be complacent. So there's no confusion in God. You know what I mean? Just stand on a firm foundation. We stand. The Lord is our rock. A rock cannot be moved. God, you are my rock. You are my strong tower. God, I trust you. So that's what I'm getting from this devotional. And I hope I made it simple enough so that you'll be able to chew and di digest the word of God that I just I spit out to you because this has truly blessed me. And let me give you, of course, the three scriptures to back up everything that we're talking about. And I'm going to leave it in the description so that you can meditate those three scriptures for the rest of this week and then allow God to wash you and to bless you. So the first scripture is coming from Psalms 43, chapter 43 and 4. It says, Then will I go to the altar of God, to God my joy and my delight. I will praise you with the harp, O God, my God. So no matter what situ your situation is, even when you feel confused, you don't know which whether to go to your left or to your right, just start to praise God. And as you pray, because God and God loves worship, it's going to start to open up, it's, start, it's going to shift, it's going to change the atmosphere for you. So praise God. Next scripture is coming from Psalms chapter 63, verses 7 to 8. It says, because you are my help, I sing in the shadow of your wing. My soul clings to you. Your right hand upholds me. Hallelujah. So know that God's right hand has you in the palm of your hand. Hallelujah. And just know that he is your help. So if God is saying to you, I am your help, that means that you need to go to him and ask him. Don't be scared to ask him, Father, I need help. I need help when it comes to this area of my life and God is going to help you. He's waiting for you to ask him. And don't ever forget to go back to him and say, Lord, I thank you. And the last scripture is coming from Psalms 119. Uh, it's going to be from verses 1 to 5. It says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. You see it? Let me read that again. Your word is a lamp. So the word of God is a lamp. When you read the word of God, it's going to light you up on the inside. It's going to set your soul on fire. The word of God washes, cleanses, purifies, and sanctifies you. Hallelujah. It is a light to your path. So when you read the word of God, when you meditate on the word of God, it's going to direct your path. You're going, to, you're going to continue to be on the right path and be in the will of God. And don't forget to not only read the word, but to apply the word and to speak his word over your life. So that's today's Sunday devotional. Again, it's Jesus is Calling from Sarah Young. If you don't have it, you can get it on Amazon. You can get it from Walmart. You can get it from Target. You can get this from Hobby Lobby. If you can't get this, get yourself a devotional. And just read read it every single day and just let it bless you. And just know that whatever you read in your devotional for that day, I'm telling you, it's going to be a blessing to you in um, as you go up throughout your day because you never know what your situation is going to be. And it could even be when you read your devotional for the day, something will be happening to somebody that you're connected to um, that you'll be able to just bless them with what you've read in the devotional. So anyway, you guys, go in peace. Have a blessed uh, week. And I pray, let's say our prayers. Father in heaven, we just thank you for your word. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for bringing us together in this platform, Father, where we can just exalt each other, edify each other, and lift each other up, Father. And Lord, we just ask, Lord God, that you would just keep us safe from all harm and danger. We disallow all calamity and sorrow concerning ourselves and our families and our friends, all those that are connected to us, God. Father, we just, anything that, we just leave all things at your altar, Father, we ask that your perfect will be done in our lives, Lord. I bless your people and all those that are watching, Father God, and all those that are going to join this channel. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. So, you guys go in peace. I love you all with the love of Christ. Thank you for your support. I don't take any of you for granted. Um, if you have any comments, leave your comments below. If you need prayer, I will definitely add you to the prayer book, and I will pray for you and pray for you too. Bye.